Brought to you by wikivd.com Fascism Fascism is a form of radical authoritarian nationalism, characterized by dictatorial power, forcible suppression of opposition, and control of industry and commerce, that came to prominence in early 20th century Europe. The first fascist movements emerged in Italy, during World War I, before it spread to other European countries. Opposed to liberalism, Marxism, and anarchism, fascism is usually placed on the far right within the traditional left-right spectrum. Fascists saw World War I as a revolution that brought massive changes to the nature of war, society, the state, and technology. The advent of total war, and the total mass mobilization of society had broken down the distinction between civilians and combatants. A military citizenship arose in which all citizens were involved with the military in some manner during the war. The war had resulted in the rise of a powerful state capable of mobilizing millions of people to serve on the front lines and providing economic production and logistics to support them, as well as having unprecedented authority to intervene in the lives of citizens. Fascists believe that liberal democracy is obsolete, and they regard the complete mobilization of society under a totalitarian one-party state as necessary to prepare a nation for armed conflict and to respond effectively to economic difficulties. Such a state is led by a strong leader, such as a dictator, and a martial government composed of the members of the governing fascist party, to forge national unity and maintain a stable and orderly society. Fascism rejects assertions that violence is automatically negative in nature, and views political violence, war, and imperialism as means that can achieve national rejuvenation. Fascists advocate a mixed economy, with the principal goal of achieving autarky through protectionist and interventionist economic policies. Since the end of World War II in 1945, few parties have openly described themselves as fascist, and the term is instead now usually used pejoratively by political opponents. The descriptions neo-fascist or post-fascist are sometimes applied more formally to describe parties of the far right with ideologies similar to, or rooted in, 20th century fascist movements. Etymology The Italian term fascism is derived from fascio meaning a bundle of rods, ultimately from the Latin word fasces. This was the name given to political organizations in Italy known as fasci, groups similar to guilds or syndicates. According to Mussolini's own account, the Fascist Revolutionary Party was founded in Italy in 1915. In 1919, Mussolini founded the Fasci Italiani di Combattimento in Milan, which became the Partito Nazionale Fascista two years later. The Fascists came to associate the term with the ancient Roman Fasces, or Fascia Littorio, a bundle of rods tied around an axe. An ancient Roman symbol of the authority of the civic magistrate carried by his lictors, which could be used for corporal and capital punishment at his command. The symbolism of the fasces suggested strength through unity, a single rod is easily broken, while the bundle is difficult to break. Similar symbols were developed by different fascist movements, for example, the phalange symbol is five arrows joined together by a yoke. Definitions Historians, political scientists, and other scholars have long debated the exact nature of fascism. Each interpretation of fascism is distinct, leaving many definitions too wide and narrow. One common definition of the term focuses on three concepts, the fascist negations, nationalist authoritarian goals of creating a regulated economic structure to transform social relations within a modern, self-determined culture, and a political aesthetic of romantic symbolism, mass mobilization, a positive view of violence, and promotion of masculinity, youth and charismatic leadership. According to many scholars, fascism, especially once in power, has historically attacked communism, conservatism, and parliamentary liberalism, attracting support primarily from the far right. Roger Griffin describes fascism as a genus of political ideology whose mythic core in its various permutations is a palingenetic 
form of populist ultranationalism. Griffin describes the ideology as having three core components, the rebirth myth, populist ultranationalism and the myth of decadence. Fascism is a genuinely revolutionary, trans-class form of anti-liberal, and in the last analysis, anti-conservative nationalism, built on a complex range of theoretical and cultural influences. He distinguishes an interwar period in which it manifested itself in elite-led, but populist, armed party, politics opposing socialism and liberalism in promising radical politics to rescue the nation from decadence. Robert Paxton says that fascism is a form of political behavior marked by obsessive preoccupation with community decline, humiliation, or victimhood and by compensatory cults of unity, energy, and purity in which a mass-based party of committed nationalist militants, working in uneasy but effective collaboration with traditional elites, abandons democratic liberties and pursues, with redemptive violence and without ethical or legal restraints goals of internal cleansing and external expansion. Umberto Eco, Kevin Passmore, John Weiss, Ian Adams, and Moira Grant mention racism as a characteristic component of fascism, and more how the fascistic dictator Hitler idealized German society as a racially unified and hierarchically organized Volksgemeinschaft construct. Fascist philosophies vary by application, but remain distinct by one theoretic commonality. All traditionally fall into the far-right sector of any political spectrum, catalyzed by afflicted class identities over conventional social inequities. John Lukacs, Hungarian-American historian and Holocaust survivor, argues that there is no such thing as generic fascism. He claims that National Socialism and Communism are essentially manifestations of populism, and that states such as National Socialist Germany and Fascist Italy are more different than similar. Thank you for watching, brought to you by wikivd.com. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.